What's up guys? This is Derek House from DHFDNS.com and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make my s'mores protein cheesecake. This is one of my favorite cheesecake recipes and yes, it tastes just as good as it sounds. So let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna do is take out a large bowl and the first ingredient we're gonna add into it is two large eggs. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of lemon juice, a fourth a cup of sweetener, two scoops or 60 grams of a vanilla protein powder. If you want a more chocolate tasting cheesecake, then use a chocolate protein powder. One teaspoon or four grams of light brown sugar. Two containers, which is 10.6 ounces or 300 grams of fat-free vanilla Greek yogurt. If you wanna cut down on the sugar in this recipe, you could just use plain Greek yogurt instead. One tablespoon or 16 grams of peanut butter. Two thirds a cup or 30 grams of miniature marshmallows half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, 12 ounces or 339 grams of fat-free cream cheese. If you don't have fat-free where you live, reduced fat or full fat work just as good. And last, take out four pieces or 28 grams of semi-sweet chocolate and chop it up. Add your chopped chocolate in. Now go ahead and mix everything together if you have a hand mixer, it'll make things a bit easier. I do post a link in the description below to the exact one that I'm using. Preheat your oven on 325 and then line a six by nine inch cake pan with some parchment paper. If you don't have a good six by nine inch cake pan, I do post a link in the description below to the exact one that I'm using. It's only around $8 shipped and great quality. Now add your mix into your pan. Make sure your top is smooth and then top it with two full low fat honey graham cracker sheets, which is 35 grams that you're gonna crush up. And then into the oven on 325 for around 30 to 35 minutes. As far as the calories go in the whole cheesecake, there's 1,376, 32 grams of fat, 129 grams of carbs, and 143 grams of protein. After 30 to 35 minutes, turn your oven down to 200 and cook for an additional 50 minutes to an hour. So if you cut this into four pieces like I do, in each piece there's gonna be around 344 calories, eight grams of fat, 32 grams of carbs, and 36 grams of protein. After an hour for me, it does look done, so I'm just gonna take it out. After it cools for a bit, wrap it up, and then put it into the fridge for a couple hours, preferably overnight. Once your cheesecake has cooled, unwrap it, and then top it with some protein frosting, or anything else you can think of. And there is your s'mores protein cheesecake. As you guys saw, the cheesecake is done. So now I'm just gonna try a bite. So if there was a wrestling league for desserts and a heated s'mores Pop-Tart, s'mores ice cream, and s'mores cake all had to wrestle each other, I'm pretty sure that in the end, this would be the result. I can't even begin to explain how good it is. Absolutely delicious. A lot of people ask me how long these cheesecakes last. Well, if you put them in the fridge, they'll usually last around five to seven days. And yes, you can freeze them too. All right, guys, I just wanna thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can do so by clicking right there on the screen coming up. By subscribing, you'll get an email every week telling you I upload a new video. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got a cheesecake to finish. Stay healthy.